I'm Al Kurtenbach. Uh, I'm retired. I've lived in Brookings uh, most of my life. Uh, we moved here in uh, 1962, and I taught at the university for about 10 years, and, and uh, along with uh, Duane and Phyllis Sander, uh, my wife Irene and I started Dactronics. When I was uh, going to the seventh grade, uh, I was, uh, one of my jobs at that time was to check the cattle in the north pasture. I was uh, in a hurry and so I went over the top and the pony uh, stepped in a hole and we went down and I, my right leg was underneath. Uh, fortunately, I was riding bareback and so, and that was the first time and, and it, that kind of healed up and then, uh, as I went through life, I continued to re-injure it. It just kept deteriorating, and I had more difficulty walking stairs. Uh, that, that was especially noticeable. I just thought I wanted to have a little more quality of life for the rest of my life, and so uh, I decided to check into uh, getting it repaired. I heard there were some good surgeons here at Brookings Medical, and so I decided to check into it and start talking to Dr. Mayer, and he uh, recommended this. And uh, I, uh, you know, I'm an electrical engineer by training, and I was impressed with the way that the uh, engineers, both mechanical and electrical, cooperated with. Uh, orthopedic uh, people to get that developed. I think it's just a great example of uh, people cooperating and, and improving uh, technology. They take data first uh, using a, a C-scan and uh, map those characteristics of your, of your bone structure into the uh, macro unit, and then that helps, uh, the uh, surgeon helps guide him to uh, uh, assist in doing a good job with the knee replacement. First of all, it's close. I thought it was important to check and see what was available and how it was done, and so I, uh, you could say I interviewed and uh, I was pleased with the results, uh, and so uh, I decided to have it done right here. I was able to have visitors because it was, I have children and grandchildren that live here in Brookings, and so they were able to pop in and see me, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I appreciated that. Well, the recovery went quite well, uh, but uh, and I continued with uh, physical therapy, which actually I did at home. I knew I had to strengthen the muscles, uh, both above and below the knee, and actually I'd started working on that before surgery. It's been very successful. I can uh, walk stairs, I, I can test it, I can carry my weight on my right, my right leg, which I couldn't do uh, before surgery. Well, it's uh, made my life much more pleasant. I don't have that constant pain when I'm trying to walk or, or even, uh, you know, s sitting. It would, it, it would be problematic sometimes. It's just the comfort level and the mobility is so much better. My wife just had her right knee replaced a month ago, and part of the goal was that we would be able to start dancing again. We enjoyed that a lot in our younger years. I don't know if we'll get back to jitterbugging, but uh, we uh, uh, certainly can get back to waltzing and two-step. Are you one of Brookings Health System's grateful patients who would like to give back to us? Learn more about how you can give back at brookingshealth.org slash mythanks.